May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. February 4th, 2024. Fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Book of Job. Do not human beings have a hard service on earth, and are not their days, like the days of a laborer? Like a slave, who longs for the shadow, and like laborers, who look for their wages, so I am allotted months of emptiness, and nights of misery are apportioned to me. When I lie down I say, when shall I rise? But the night is long, and I am full of tossing until dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle, and come to their end without hope. Remember that my life is a breath, my eye will never again see good. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is Praise the Lord, who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord How good it is to sing praises to our God, for He is gracious, and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, He gathers the outcasts of Israel. Praise the Lord, who heals the brokenhearted. He heals the brokenhearted, and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars, He gives to all of them their names. Praise the Lord, who heals the brokenhearted. Great is our Lord, and abundant in power, His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the downtrodden, He casts the wicked to the ground. Praise the Lord, who heals the brokenhearted. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Corinthians. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation is laid on me, and woe to me, if I do not proclaim the gospel. For, if I do this of my own will, I have a reward, but if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation, I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that, I might win more of them. To the weak, I became weak so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it all, for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Mark. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew, with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand, and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening, at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick, or possessed with demons. And the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many, who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions, hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues, and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection That evening, at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons and the whole city was gathered around the door. 
And he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. Mark 1 verses 32 to 34. Jesus was in the home of Simon Peter, whose mother-in-law he had just cured. The whole town gathered at the door when evening came. This was Jesus' first time being in Capernaum, after beginning his public ministry, and already people were flocking to him in droves. The next morning, Jesus got up before dawn, and went away alone to pray. Soon, some of the disciples found him and told him that, once again, the whole town was looking for him. The excitement was great. So many were amazed. And their amazement at Jesus was not simply a form of curiosity. It was an amazement fueled by faith, which is why Jesus was able to perform so many miracles there. The people quickly realized that, Jesus was the one, of whom the prophets of old had spoken. He was the Messiah, and the people gave him their full attention. This is a good image for us to ponder. As you think of the crowds, and their unwavering desire to be near our Lord, consider your own desires pertaining to God. Do you regularly find yourself consumed with a desire to find our Lord, to be with Him, to listen to Him, and to receive His grace and mercy? Or, are you tempted to see Jesus and the practice of your faith, as boring and uninteresting? One of the unfortunate effects of modern technology is that, we easily become fascinated by and intrigued with many superficial things. Perhaps, it's the latest short video on a mobile app, or the latest episode of a favorite television series, or a new post by a friend on social media. There are many things today that compete for our attention, intrigue us and even amaze us. Is Jesus one of those things in your life? In our modern world of constant stimulation and entertainment, we need to understand the difference between being amazed at the latest pop trend and being amazed by the grace and divine actions of our Lord. When we come face to face with the power of God in our lives, we will be amazed in a way that fulfills and satisfies us on the deepest level. It will be a spiritual amazement, which is a gift of the Holy Spirit. And the satisfaction we receive from this form of amazement is transforming, deep and sustaining. But when we turn to lesser and more sensory amazements, common within our world today, we will find that, they last only for a moment, and we are quickly left dry and wanting for more. Reflect today, upon the people in today's gospel who were so enthralled by Jesus, that they continually sought him out. Consider their excitement, their hope, and their genuine joy at their discovery of the Messiah. As you think about them, consider whether you share in their excitement about Jesus. If that excitement is lacking, recommit yourself to seeking out our Lord. And where you see that excitement present, rejoice and give glory to God. Let us pray. Most glorious Lord, your love and mercy are truly amazing. Please help me to continually see this in my life and to continually become enthralled by your presence in my life. May I run to you always, giving you my full attention and love. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and gospel. May God bless us all.